welcome to my channel my name is Nikki thank you for stopping by okay you guys I am going to show you some dried pieces and I actually have so many pieces that I'm just gonna post this as a separate video instead of trying to stick it on the beginning of a of a new pour because I'm sure it'll be quite lengthy um so this is just gonna show you some dried pieces if that doesn't interest you um, then this video is not for you I guess I don't know <laughs> anyway okay so um I've got this piece this was a pour that was done with the deco art um pour medium and deco art has they've created these sets um let's see I'll show you what one of them looks like um it's this and when I bought it I thought it was like pre-mixed but they're not they're just paints regular deco art craft paints They've just put them into a set of colors for you. Um, it's not, in my opinion, it's not worth the price you have to pay for them. Because it is marked up. You can match your own color sets. But that's what it was. It was a set of those four colors. Um, and then I just used the Deco Art Pour Medium. And um, so, this was a flip cup. <clears throat> I have a second one that I did with those. Um, this one was also a flip cup. So have those two I'm actually gonna give those to a co-worker um, this is one that I love I've posted the video of this this is my favorite little corner of it, it was so pretty um, it dried well and I'm very happy with it um, this is one I did with just some leftover paint um, it's okay I'm not mad at it I think it's nice for like a little girl that likes mermaids and unicorns and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, I have that one. And then, this is a milk paint pour that um, I didn't record the entire process, but I did show it when I first poured it. So, it's dry now. Um, looks pretty cool. There's a little bit of crazen in this area, but um, overall, I still think it looks pretty cool. So, there's that one. And then this is the one. This is another milk paint pour. And this is the one that I actually recorded the process of making it. Um, and it dried well. I don't see any of that um, crazing going on. So, that's good. This is These are the little cells that was formed because of the milk paint. Um, so, yeah. This is cool. I like it. I did that one. And then this. I have not posted the video of this one. Um, but it dried beautifully, and, um, yeah, there is, I don't think I put any metallics in this, which is really, really weird for me. If I did, it was, like, bare minimum. I just pulled down, I'll show you, these paints, they come from Hobby Lobby, and I've got, I don't know, I've got every color that they make in this. I think they probably make, like... <sighs> 15 or so colors so I've got um those and I just used every color from that line that I had and put it in a pour um so that's what this is can you tell I'm going to start crazy um this is a chameleon cell technique and um it turned out pretty cool I like it I'm not going to post a video of that because I like the grungy chameleon cells and the vast majority of viewers obviously did not because, woo, they didn't like that video. Um, the last time I posted it, so I said, I'm not sure in that. I'm just doing that one for me. This is a swipe I did. These cells are created because the gold is the Extreme Sheen 24 karat and this is the um, garnet in the Extreme Sheen. And, um, yeah, I just did a swipe. These were some leftover paints. And I was like, oh, I'll just do a swipe with it. And it came out really, really cool. I love it. It's beautiful. This one is a... Well, I was doing a ripple swipe or a ghost pour, whichever way you call it. And then that didn't work. And so then I just did like a center swipe. And then it was still not very interesting. So I said, I'm going to add some chameleon cells. And I think it's cool because like you can see some of the pattern in here and like through here but it's not like really super defined which if you've watched my channel for any length of time you know that i like the um the very 
rustic, grungy, um, chameleon cells. So, that's my jam. It's not everybody's jam, and that's okay, because we don't all need to like the same thing, or the world would be boring. Um, the last one I'm going to show you, though, I love, and you guys seem to really, really like it, too. And this was a 20 by 20 canvas I did. This was satin enamel and extreme sheen. And look at those little pearly sails. And they all like come around the edge. Like isn't that incredible? This dried so nice. It's so beautiful. I'm going to varnish it. I really want to keep it for myself. But I kind of want to give it to someone as a gift. So I'm in a bit of a pickle. I don't know what I want to do. I mean, I want to do both, but I only have one, right? So I can't do both. I guess I could try to rep replicate it, but I can guarantee you it's not going to come out the same, is it? Nope, they never do. Um, let's see. I think I've showed you guys that dried one. Um, I don't know if I show you this one. I posted a video of it, but you can see up there I was moving it from one drawing rack to the other, and I stuck my arm in it. So such as it is, I guess, which seems to be what happens to a lot of my paintings is either me or Mr. Lizard will cause some kind of uh-oh and, and they're not perfect anymore. But anyway, um, that's my dried pieces that I have. You guys, look, this is no joke. I'm going to show you this. I'm sorry. I know my art room is just like crazy cluttered, whatever, but this is my space. These are all dried and varnished. These are all dried and varnished. These, go back there, they're all dried and varnished. These are waiting on varnishes. Like, I have a problem. And then I got more to paint. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I have got to sort out this storage issue. It's uh it's becoming problematic. Um, but anyway, um yeah. That is it. And um that's gonna be the end of this video and I am going to put these things away so that I can mix up paint and add to the problem, I guess. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy seeing these dried pieces and um I hope you're staying safe and well and healthy and um i will speak to you all very soon bye